वेलकम टू सिग्नल एंड सिस्टम लेक्चर सीरीज हियर इन दिस सेशन आई बी गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन क्लासिफिकेशन ऑफ सिस्टम विद टाइम वेरिएंट एंड टाइम इन वेरिएंट सिस्टम नाउ इनिशियली आई हैव ऑलरेडी टोल्ड द बेजिक्स ऑफ दैट इफ सिस्टम इफ सिस्टम कैरेक्टरिस्टिक इज नॉट चेंजिंग विद रिस्पेक्ट टू टाइम देन वन कैन से दैट सिस्टम इज टाइम इन वेरियंट सिस्टम but if system's characteristic that is changing with respect to time then it will be time variant system so how to identify system's characteristic is changing or not so for that the basic condition is y of n comma k that is equals to y of n minus k if it is happening y of n comma k that is equals to y of n minus k then one can say system is time invariant system so what is y of n comma k so y of n comma k means you will have to have response with input is having delay of n minus k you don't need to change any other variables you will have to change only input from x of n to x of n minus k so that is what y of n comma k and y of n minus k means what you will have to change n by n minus k so that is what the difference and to understand that let us have some examples so it will be more clear so i will be considering few examples here to explain this so let us have first example like see if question is y of n that is given by x of n plus x of n minus 3 so in that case if you calculate y of n comma k so what is y of n comma k so that is transpose of x of n minus k so here instead of x of n we need to replace it with x of n minus k so over here x of n that will change is to x of n minus k plus here x of n minus 3 is there so it will change is to x of n minus k minus 3 now what is y of n minus k so in that we need to replace n with n minus k so we'll be finding that x of n is replaced by n minus k so x of n minus 3 that will be now x of n minus k minus 3 so this is what actually y of n comma k so we can say this given system is linear system so this system follows the condition y of n comma k is equals to y of n minus k so it is time invariant system now let us have few more example so it will be more clear so i am considering second example now see if y of n that is given by n into x of n plus x of n minus 2 so how to calculate y of n comma k so y of n comma k means what it is a response x of n minus k so here you don't need to replace all n with n minus k you have to replace only inputs so here this n that will be as it is but x of n now that will get replaced by x of n minus k plus x of n minus 2 so there you need to replace input with x of n minus k so x of n minus k minus 2 so this is what the difference you don't need to replace all n with n minus k you will have to replace only input with n minus k so y of n comma k will be this now when you calculate y of n minus k 
so in that case you'll have to replace all n with n minus k so here n is there so that will be now n minus k and x of n minus k plus x of n minus k minus 2 so this is not equals to y of n comma k so we can say here characteristic of system is changing with respect to time and as characteristic of system is changing with respect to time one can say it is what time variant system so this is time variant system let us have one more example so it will be more clear so i am considering third example Now see, if you have y of n, that is x square n plus 2n. So now we are able to identify whether this is time variant or not. So if I calculate y of n comma k, so that is actually transpose of x of n minus k. So we need to replace x of n with x of n minus k so here x of n that is given so x square of n minus k but you cannot replace this 2n it will be 2n as it is so x of n comma k is this and if you calculate y of n comma sorry y of n minus k so in that we need to replace all n with n minus k so x of n that will get changes to x of n minus k whole square plus this 2 times of n minus k. So this is not equals to y of n comma k. So we can say this is what time variant system. It is time variant system so here one thing that we need to understand you need to check this condition y of n minus k that should be equals to y of n comma k where when we when you calculate y of n comma k you will be calculating response of system with input x of n minus k and when you calculate y of n minus k at the time you have to replace all n with n minus k and you have to check whether y of n comma k is equals to y of n minus k or not. If it is happening in that case, one can say it is time invariant system. But if it is not happening in that case, one can say it is time variant system. I hope that you have understood this. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please give your valuable suggestions. Definitely based on your suggestions in future I will make videos which will be solving your queries. Thank you so much for watching this video.